Hello, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to more Rocket League news out there. To preface before the video does begin, I hope you guys all enjoy. RLCS is finally here this weekend, so if you guys do want to stop by every single week, I am now back full time with Rocket League content. Twice every week, I'll be breaking down the results for RLCS, both NA and EU. So I hope you guys all enjoy. But most importantly, why I'm here making this video, uh, an announcement I've been so excited for. We've heard rumors about this for many, many months. It is now finally confirmed and actually announced. We can wait for more announcements actually coming later today as well. But I wanted to make this video out there as fast as possible that being FC Barcelona the first official elite club football club that being to cross over into Rocket League has now acquired the former Savage roster Alpha, Devo, Bluey alongside Mateos as a sub and Roken right there in the middle taking the spotlight as per usual I cannot wait a team that I've been fanboying for quite some time a team I've been actually following for quite some time and I could not be more excited for when this announcement finally went live today just a smile across my face because a team out there certainly deserves it a lot more than many other other teams out there is this former Savage roster. And it makes it all the more rewarding to think about this is a great thing for the entire scene, right? A crossover like this for a football club hopefully will lead more football clubs to do so, ironically, in a sport like Rocket League and hopefully have that, that of course, synonymous crossover between a sport that represents itself inside an eSport. Um, of course, if you guys under, understand that, hopefully, I cannot wait to see hopefully more football clubs follow suit and actually sign some big teams out there. But I think this will be a rarity out there to see such an elite club sign a guy, a, a, a tree like this as well but when you look at the results you've been following them ever since last rival series it's been a complete joy to see these guys go on a complete rampage and really express themselves as a world contending team out there and a world contending trio you look back all the way to rival series after that of course we had the ballistics brawl the renegade cup wsoe if one of the players would have not had to wake up early the next morning and actually been able to play instead of you know studying for an exam i think they would have qualified and really competed at wsoe and then you look at dreamhack leipzig one of the best tournaments i have seen in quite some time for a an unknown or a lesser known team out there that being team savage they take down flip side cloud nine i believe g2 in the quarterfinals and they take dignitas to a game seven overtime and Dignitas, of course, goes on to win the entire event. And they certainly, after these results so far, in my mind, had deserved a big sponsorship, a big partnership like this. And I cannot name a better trio out there in terms of just people I really enjoy watching to play who have now been signed to FC Barca going forward. But as always, hope you guys all enjoy. I will be back here tomorrow actually breaking down RLCS Week 1 predictions. And uh, alongside that, showing you guys the format I'll be choosing to do when I break down the results of RLCS NA and EU. So as always, I hope you guys all enjoy. My name is Jake. Hopefully you all enjoy the rest of your day and and uh, please come back here tomorrow